Hello friends, welcome back to All on Unlaw. Guys, before starting a discussion on overflow incontinence, overflow urinary incontinence, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. We gonna make more and more videos and help USMLE prospective students to score very well in your USMLE examinations. Guys, for to match in the residency, USMLE scores are really very important. Okay guys, so let me quickly start a discussion over this. Okay, what's the overflow? Recently, we made, we posted a video on urge incontinence, your stress incontinence. Now, this is the third video on overflow urinary incontinence. Define what's, what do you call overflow incontinence? It's a kind of continuous leakage of urine, okay? And it's associated with what you call incomplete bladder and tongue. And the symptoms include weak urinary stream dribbling hesitancy and the most important thing that you should look for in your simple examination is nocturia okay guys this is really very important there is a continuous leakage of the urine associated with incomplete bladder and time then what is the mechanism how does it act right that's the question how does it act it's because it's it's impaired bladder contactility. The two things we can say over here, if this is what you call bladder, okay, and this is sphincter, and this is what you call urethra. If, if over here, if the sphincter is weak, this can cause overflow incontinence, okay, overflow incontinence, or either is the contractility of what you call bladder is weak or this is impaired then it can cause continuous flow of urine through this channel and that's known as overflow incontinence so what are the causes for overflow incontinence is impaired bladder contractility or it can be due to the outlet obstruction okay but remember the bladder outlet obstruction is not common in women okay is common in men that's why the BPH could be the cause or the prostate cancer could be the cause for example in USML examination they give the history and they will ask you what might be the cause for this and try to look for the causes for overflow constant uh, incontinence overflow incontinence either it could be BH BPH that's a benign prostatic hyperplasia or prostate cancer or urethral stricture this is really very very important I'm talking about okay the common causes what are the causes in women you see the causes in women you see as pelvic organ prolapse like uterus prolap prolapse okay very important okay or a prior surgery for prolapse prior surgery Whereas if you want to differentiate this overflow incontinence from a stress incontinence, in a stress incontinence, there is a stress that increases the intra-abdominal pressure in the form of coughing, sneezing, exertion or laughing. Okay guys, or oh, the other causes for overflow incontinence in women, it could be suprasacral spinal cord injury. Spinal injury you can remember. Okay. So remember, and this kind of injury can be common in men and women also. Okay, so how would you treat that? What's the treatment plan? Tell me. You tell me now. The thing that what you have to do is, since there is a neurological deficiency, then you have to place a catheter. Place a catheter. Okay. And this is really very important. If in men is the BPH is a cause, then try to treat this. Okay. Okay, guys. 
So I think this video is really very helpful for your USML Step 1 examination and for Step 2 CK examination. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. See you soon in the next amazing awesome video with us on All on Unlock. Thank you so much. Take care.